Today we're covering the NBA, PlayStation, the stock market, and more. Welcome to The Able Bits Show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Congratulations are in order for those of you with money invested in the tech stock. A whopping $291.6 billion were added by giants, including Amazon, Alphabet, Tesla, Facebook, Apple, and Netflix. Tesla had the largest gains on the day with 9.7%, while Amazon also impressed at 7.93%. Though the COVID-19 pandemic has caused an economic downturn, stocks such as these have performed well due to the nature of their business. Stay tuned for more updates. As the NBA moves toward its late July start date, news from the bubble has been released stating that out of the 346 players tested for COVID-19, there have been zero positive tests. The initial batch of testing back on July 13th yielded two positive results out of 322 tests, so sounds like good news to me. The inner squad scrimmages begin July 22nd as the teams gear up for the games that actually matter starting July 30th. It's been over four months since the regular season was halted due to COVID, so there's a high probability that the product on the court will resemble my six-year-old nephew's team. The United Arab Emirates, or UAE, has successfully launched the HOPE probe to Mars. The mission was launched from Tanegashima Space Center in Japan and marks the first interplanetary mission by an Arab nation. Congrats. Quote, it's an honor to be part of the global effort to explore deep space, quote, tweeted the official HOPE Mars mission account after the launch. The U.S. and China are also launching missions to Mars in the next couple of months to take advantage of a brief window when the Earth and Mars are closest together. It sounds a lot like my dad trying to save money on summer vacation by driving to the beach. It looks like another domino has fallen for the big budget movie releases as Tenet has been delayed indefinitely. Warner Brothers chairman Toby Emmerich said, quote, we will share a new 2020 release date imminently for Tenet, Christopher Nolan's wholly original and mind-blowing feature, end quote. The COVID pandemic has delayed other high-profile releases as well as altered market strategies, including the possibility of opening across the pond first. Emmerich continued saying, we are not treating Tenet like a traditional global day and date release, and our upcoming marketing and distribution plans will reflect that. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait to watch this flick in confusion with everyone else. More exciting news for the popular PlayStation franchise as Spider-Man Miles Morales is getting a high resolution mode. As one of the first titles on the new PS5 coming this holiday season, you'll be able to play as the web slinger in glorious 4K at 60 frames per second. The announcement comes with many questions as gamers are wondering how the high quality mode will differ from a standard mode for those who don't have a 4K TV. Insomniac Games expects both modes to look great, but most players are going to want the best possible visual option. I still miss the days of being blown away by the visuals in GoldenEye. San Francisco Giants manager Gabe Kapler joined several players in kneeling prior to last night's exhibition game with the Oakland A's. He's quoted as saying, I wanted them to know that I wasn't pleased with the way our country has handled police brutality, and I told them I wanted to amplify their voices, and I wanted to amplify the voice of the black community and marginalized communities as well, end quote. Additionally, Jalen Davis and Antoine Richardson knelt while Brand Crawford stood between them in an embrace. Of course, this wasn't without controversy, as we soon saw tweets from the president opposing the move. The MLB shortened 60-game regular season will begin July 23rd. Stay tuned for more info. That's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in, Table Bits. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.